This is Red Ark, and we're going to go over the basics of installing a BCDC 1225D in an overland trailer. The trailer that we're working on currently has a simple solar controller, so we're going to remove all the wiring for that first. Be sure to mock up where you're going to install the unit before doing any wiring. The BCDC comes with crimp connectors and heat shrink tubing. Go ahead and connect all large crimp connectors to the large wires coming out of the BCDC. Keeping your wires organized will help you in every step. Beginning with our vehicle starter battery, fused right after the battery, we run number 6 duplex wire all the way back to our bumper and continue it back to our trailer with an Anderson plug. We're going to be using a Blue Sea cable gland to pass the main wire from our starter battery into our trailer. This is a waterproof seal. Make sure to use plenty of extra cabling to work with. Now that you've chosen where you want to mount your BCDC and you've mounted it, let's go over what each wire does coming out of the unit. The red wire is your power in from your starter battery that's ran through the number 6 duplex you've run all the way back to your vehicle. The negative from the number 6 duplex ran back from the starter battery goes to your common ground. The black wire coming out of the BCDC gets ran to the common ground of your fuse block. You can load ground it as long as your load ground is also the common ground. The yellow goes to your solar positive and your solar negative is going to go to that same common ground. We are using Red Arc's Anderson plug connector for their solar kits. The brown wire connects to the positive terminal on your house battery. That is your auxiliary battery that you've installed the BCDC to charge. The smaller wires do multiple things. The blue wire is a trigger wire if you want your main vehicle ignition to turn the system on. And the other two wires control the charge profile. Consult the manual to see how these will need to be connected per the battery you're using. Now that everything has been connected, let's test it and see if it works. First, we're going to plug in the Anderson plug going to our main starter battery. If you connected the blue indicator wire, you have to start your vehicle first. But as you can see, we have a charge. Now let's test the solar. Unplug the Anderson plug from your main vehicle. Lay out your solar panel. Plug the solar panel into the BCDC, and you'll see that we also have a solar charge. And that's the basics of the BCDC 1225 in an overland trailer.